Hey everybody, it's Steve with Scott194 and I appreciate you taking the time to visit and check out my video. And we are here at Suzuka and uh, before I had my arm injured in work, at work, um, I was doing the race in LFM here and the setup was really good for the that I had here for the AMG and I actually set my all-time personal best but I just needed a little bit more drivability, a little bit more tuning. So um, I basically... Um, as my arm's gotten better now, I'm trying to do a little at a time. So I knew it was really close. It just needed a little bit. So basically worked on it a little bit more and tried a couple different little things. But I've settled on this. So we're just going to do a lap and then go over the setup. Of course, all my setups, I'll leave a link in the description. And of course, we'll go over it here page by page after a lap. It's got really good speed down the straightaways. Probably one of the best out of the cars I've been driving. Um, 163 right here, which is you know, really good. You can go really deep into turn one, and it's really solid. I ran a six, uh, six, a two, uh, two minute point two flat, and qualifying in the LFM race. So, and it's the same setup, just, it was just low fuel. So, again, I just wanted to just fine tune it a little bit more. Try it, uh, and try some other things too. You could lose so much time at this hairpin. So this hairpin is one of the critical turns. You really need to be able to get through there really quick. You can drop three or four tenths. I mean, so easy. And of course, you know, Suzuki is such a challenge. It's not super grippy. And then of course down here, um, coming off of this double left is always tricky. Trying to carry momentum. And be able to get on the gas as early as you can. A lot of times you got to feed it in, and sometimes you might even have to short shift it a little bit just to get it to, you know, so you can get on the gas. And this is the toughest corner because this is a very high speed, and then again, super fast. I mean, this, man, thing's flying. You may have to lift some through there, but that, not a lot. And but you're still carrying a ton of speed through there. I messed this section up, or I would have been faster. I lost like a tenth of a set, at least a tenth right through there, through the uh, through that tight chicane type thing there. So I, I would know it could have gone faster even on this run. That's a two minute point six two, and I got sixty five liters. Started up with sixty five liters, which is a lot more than what you know you start with the uh, with the sprint there in LFM. So, but I usually do a lot of you know my setups. I use a base at 65 liters so again um it, you could but you can go either way again you know really solid and without a you know big difference um my fastest before was a two minute point six six and now you know now it's just like a you know one time one lap it was just a long time ago and that was my all-time personal best and of course now i dropped like four tenths off of that um, and I was constantly running in the mid uh, two two O's, you know two O point five six and all that in uh, in the race. So again, really really happy with this setup. Um, we got twenty four eight on the front tires and twenty five four left rear, twenty five five right rear. Toe on the front is a negative point two with the camber at negative three point eight and the caster at twelve point one, and the toe on the rear is positive point zero five. With the camber at negative 3.1. Um, again, just changing a few little things. Um, change the toe. And um, let's see, that's about it. Other than that, that's about it. Tried a couple different things with the negative camber, but I still settled back to where it was. Electronics are 4, 4, and 1. Fuel, 65 liters. Um, number one brake pad. Of course, the tire wear was good. It's got a little bit more wear on the front, but that's a front-engine car. But it's not—it's not big. It's close. 
Andy Robar, 6. Brake bias is 54. You can't go down to 53. Steering is 12. Springs in the front are all the way down at 130,000 with a bump stop rate of 500 and a bump stop range of 2. And on the rear, the springs are 107,000 with a bump stop rate of 700 and a bump stop range of 15. Andy roll bar is 4 and the preload is 140. Now, I tried um, the one click more on the springs in the front. You can try that, but I didn't like it. It just it, it had a little bit too much understeer um, in the grip, grip department, and I, I just... It felt like it was sliding more, so I just didn't like it. So I, you know, and of course, Suzuka, like I said, does not have a lot of grip, so I just went all the way down on the springs. Um, you might, I was really with this anti roll bar, you might, you might want to go back to three. I'm really torn between three and four. Um, I like four better, so it just finishes the turn better, but later in the stint, you might want to just. Again, you know, be careful with that or turn your electronics up to five on your TC. Um, again, you know, again, I was trying to get this thing to rotate uh, without over rotating. But of course, the rear of the car comes up as the fuel burns off on the AMG. So again, you, you know, it changes and a lot of it depends on your track conditions. You know, if the track conditions are greasy, you might want to dock this back to three. So it just a lot of it depends on your conditions. You know, this is optimum. Um, you know, if you got really good grip, you're fine. But if you have less grip, you might want to knock this back. Shocks on the front, front left are two one four five, and on the front right are two one five six. Um, on the rear, they are one one four five. All dialed in by Motec, and they actually come out pretty good. Arrow, I did. This is a lot of the stuff I changed. I kept changing different balance of the car. Um, it's got 46 in the front, 74 in the rear with a 9 wing, a 2 splitter, and a 3, and a 3 in the brake ducts. And the front arrow variation is a negative 0.7. Um, I tried lower in the front. I've tried more right in the rear. I've tried more wing. I've, done all, I've been all over the place just trying to see if I can get the car to react a little bit different. And um, really, this is the best combination. Uh Again, with the sway bar, I would take that off if you if it over rotates. But you know, and you can always try to inch on it if you got you know killer track conditions. You might be able to go up one on the rear right height here and try that. I would not do that on the front because it's too drastic, and also it hits the curbs and things. It gives you a little bit you know because the front doesn't dr change. So we got 65 liters, and as you can see, I just kn knocked it down to three, uh, simulating dropping fuel and you see the front didn't go down at all but the rear went up to 76 so again i take that into consideration um and also you know that if you have a longer race you know you got 80 or 100 liters it could be more than that so again um i'm trying to find a really good balance just keep that in mind i mean a shorter race you might be able to go up one click if you had like a the lfm race with 25 minutes or something similar to that you might be able to be able to get away with it because it's not going to change that much so again, it just depends on your race. Um, again, I think it's really solid. As like I said, I ran my all-time personal best with it, and actually even had a 159 in my Delta. I was really, really happy with that, as you can tell. Um, I was really stoked because I mean that's really good improvement for me. Um, but the AMG is always so strong here at Suzuka. So um, again, you know, I could see it. You know, if you keep going and going and practicing with it. I mean, I. I could see running, you know, a high 59, especially in qualifying, which I know there's guys running a lot faster than that. But for me, that's really good for me. So, again, um, the link to this setup will be in the description. And, of course, it's free, um, and just like all my setups. And I really uh, thank you for all of your support. Again, um, special thanks to uh, Mark, Ronnie, Stu, and Christopher for the, you know, special thanks for you for your support. And again, um, uh, a like and subscribe goes a long way also. So again, thank you to all my subscribers. You are awesome. And all the, all the well wishes with my arm. And again, uh, like I said in the other video, it is getting you know better. I'm just going to just slowly just take it as it goes. Um, but again, you guys probably won't even notice it as far as my content. So again, I hope you all have a great one and you come back and visit again really soon. You all take care.